How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. Uh, this time, uh, for this week, we are using a pretty spicy team. Uh, we've got Tapacoco um, and Glaren Articuno on this team, as well as Mamoswine. Uh, in similar John Wash, Dragapult, relatively standard. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the front three of, front, front three of Coco, Mamoswine, Articuno, uh, pretty spicy. Um, so this is a team I built myself. Um, I built it back in Series Seven. Um, had a lot of fun using it. I think it kind of fell out of favour with the uh, with the meta game because it was it was designed to beat the um, the Nile Eagle Osprey Thunderous Core when that was everywhere. Um, but yeah, I've got support type of Coco, um, Assault Vest with Volt Switch, Dazzling Gleam, Electro of Nature's Madness. There for speed control and pivoting and terrain control. Um, <clears throat> terrain control being particularly important because it means that against like sun, I can bring it in, uh, set up electric terrain so my stuff can't get put to sleep. Um, I have the option against um, like Tapifini um, to bring it in so that my Rotom can burn things, that kind of stuff. Uh, if psychic terrains up, I can get fake outs off or ice shards with Mamoswine. Um, and Mamoswine is for big chunky damage. This thing hits like an absolute train. Um, Articuno gives me Tailwind support. Um, I honestly, off the top of my head, cannot remember what matchups I put Articuno on here for, but I remember it being pretty useful. Um, so <laughs> maybe I'll figure it out at some point. Um, and then Instant Rotom give me a, a bulky core to to mess around with, um, as well as a chance to like burn stuff with Rotom. It's a, mostly the two of them are there to deal with the Glastrio Trick Room matchup. And then I've got bulky weakness policy Dragapult, um, which sits nicely next to Mamoswine, gives it. Uh, speed boost and stuff um, deters a lot of Mamoswine's threats. It can drop defense on stuff. So, like for example, um, you can go for like Max Ghost into um, high horsepower, and that'll kill pretty much anything that doesn't resist either of them. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Um, as usual, if you want to rent that team, then go ahead. Uh, code was up there for a while, so if you want to go back and pause it and grab the team, then you can. Um, yeah, let's see how well this does on the uh, on the ladder. I've not used this team in a hot while, um, so <laughs> I may be a little bit rusty with it to start with. Uh, I'm also not sure exactly how it fares in the current meta game, because there's a lot of grim snell going on in the current meta game, and I don't really have a match up for that because I've not built it around that. Where is it gone? There it is. Um, um, I just could wrote on good setup on it. Um. <clears throat> which is kind of useful. I can play defensive around um, around screens, but um, yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're against Nando, very cheeky. Um, <laughs> and as I say it, it comes to pass. We have a Metagross. Um, no, sorry, a Grimmsnarl. We do also have a Metagross, but Grimmsnarl is the key one there. Um, okay. There's Spectre, but no redirection, which I think I can maybe make the most of with Dragapult here, if I want to. I could just go Incident into Spectre. Incident kind of destroys that. I honestly don't hate, like, an Incident Rotom lead. Um, I want Coco here. It gives me uh, speed control against the Spectre. And uh, no, I can't just let Metagross get um, policy off straight away, can I? Oh, I can always burn it, I guess. Um... Hmm. My Rotom's pretty fast, isn't it? Actually, my Rotom's not that fast, and there's a good chance Metagross outspeeds that. Um. Could I have a Tailwind Rotom here? Uh, actually, I kind of like Dragapult Rotom, honestly. Uh, gives me the option to go for Airstream Boost if needs be. Um, I can always just smack the, um. Smack the Spectria, uh, if I want. And then we want. I think we want Coco here. And. In, uh, actually, probably be Mamoswine back in here, don't I? Uh, actually, my matchup against Rotom is kind of bad, isn't it? I need to be careful with my um, with my Rotom Pulp, because Rotom Pulp may only answers to um, to my opponent's Rotom. I just need to play around the um, Metagross lead. I really need to play around the Metagross lead. Problem is, I'm not sure I can actually kill the um, Spectria. Okay, the group's not a lecky. I think I'm okay with that, aren't I? Um. Uh, 
I mean, Reggie Lucky goes off to the Rotom Shop slot for sure. I think I can... What, can I Phantom Force into the Lucky slot? They don't have a Ghost Resist, do they? Not apart from Grimstone, he's already on the field. Um, I don't hate... Uh, I can, I can just switch in Mamswine here, can't I? And then go for a Phantom Force into Eleki. That's going to be trick lagging tail, isn't it? Um, yeah, okay. Good thing I did not Dynamax that. Electro-herb, fine. Um... So it's looking like Mamo's going to be my Dynamax target here. That will rote on. Um, I like he's got to go out here. The question is what it switches into. I guess Rotom comes in on that slot. Um, so I'm happy to take free chip damage on Rotom. I could also just double that slot there. Um, just to get as much damage on Rotom as I can. The other option is just to horsepower the Grim Snarl. I guess I might sort of play around. Ah, uh, Ice Crush is doing. Ice Crush do a reasonable chunk, honestly. I think all damage on Rotom is useful here. This feels like a Rotom switching on the Alecky slot, honestly. Ah, oh, it just protects. Okay. Could hit Grim's not there, but. Yeah, it's a reflect. That's fine. I'll get some damage on, on Alecky. I'm okay with that. Um. That's not unreasonable damage. Um, I think now I just go after the Grimstar slot, right? With this, and then darts into Alecky. It's not going to kill Alecky, but I don't care if Alecky stays in here. Let's go T-Volt into Pole. That's absolutely fine. That was nothing. Horsepower should do, I guess, around 50%. Oh, wait, no, sorry, reflect up. Okay, I miscalculated that very severely. Spirit Break, probably into Dragapult. Yep, it's just kill. Yep. That's fine. I didn't want Dragapult anyway, if I'm being honest. I straight up just didn't want Dragapult on the field. <laughs> and this lets me bring in Tapu Koko, um, which is nice. It does give Eleki um, its terrain, but I 100% just don't care about that. With the current lineup I have on the field, I just do not care about that at all. Um, I guess the thing is now I need to set up for... Uh, I think I need to save my Max for Rotom here in case they have Rotom as well. Max Rotom is pretty good to Metacross as well, which I need to consider. What I could do here is I, I kind of like just doubling into the Grim Snarl slot here. Um, oh, they could switch Rotom in here, couldn't they? I guess I don't really care if they switch Rotom in here because then they don't get light screen off and I get my own Rotom in, so I'm just going to double off the Grim Snarl. Um, Lucky Protect, that's fine. They do set light screen. Um, here comes Vault Switch. Is that a range of horsepower? I can't tell. I don't think I'm actually. Is it? I think that's fine if it's in a range of horsepower, isn't it? Because then next turn I can just go for. Ah, um, oh, no, I don't want to get Spirit Broken. Is the issue. Um, I want to my, minimize my damage on Rotom. Horsepower comes out. Max the Grim's not. Okay, Grimstall does go down. Mamoswine is so strong. That's a neutral hit through Reflect on a bulky Pokemon. It just flattens it. Okay. So for three apiece, they're bringing Spectria. Okay. Problem with this is this could be either Snarl, Rotom, or Burn my Mamoswine. I think they're more inclined to go after Mamoswine here because it's more of a threat to Regieleki, right? Yeah, Spectre is a problem. I think they want to Willow my Mammoth Swine, so I'm just going to go into Coco here. Um, oh, I guess it's annoying that I don't protect on this. Much is it either plot or max? I think I kind of like max here, honestly. Because uh, I want to minimize the damage that Eleki's doing to my Rotom. I feel like this is going to be Will-O-Wisp into the Mamoswine slot. So what I can do is I can uh, predict a Snarl next turn. 
and go for Electrub, and then after I like, oh, I guess they can always Electrub with their um, Elaki, can't they? Hmm, that's kind of irritating. That's still a lot, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah, and there's the Willow Spin to the Mammoth Swine. Perfect. This isn't going to do a vast amount, but it'll do a decent chunk. That's a very decent chunk. Um, honestly, I think I'm happy to just to double into Spectre now. I'm probably going to get Snarled, but... I'm perfectly happy to get Snarled, honestly. Um... I'm pretty sure Volt Switch and Geyser should kill through a Snarl. If not, then it'll be in range of a nice shot. Um, actually, it might be better if it doesn't die here. But yeah, that'll put it in range of Ice Shard. Which means the next node I can go for... Um... Okay, they go Electro, that's fine. This will be a Snarl. Oh, they just doubled his right up, okay. Jump, 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 I get my berry. Do they not have Snarl then? Maybe not if they have Bulldoze, but yeah, this is fine. Uh, I get Mammoth Swine back in. Um, and I get rid of their horse. So this could well be Metagross back end, which would be a bit annoying. Um, uh, is that annoying? No, because I can always burn Metagross is the thing. Uh, can I cannot know because it's just going to die to Reggie Lucky. Um, then we'll reflect. That's big. It is Metagross, okay. So we know for a fact Metagross is going to be faster than um, Rotom, right? Can I just double the Metagross here? Because like you can't really do anything. I think I'm content just to get damage on Metagross here, aren't I? Am I? Could also conserve Mammoth Swine. I need the Alecky gone if I want to go for the that plan, though. I think I just need to make the most of my max turns here. I'm just going to blast the Metagross. They could protect the Mamoswine stays alive. Um, I think for as long as Mamoswine stays alive, I've got a pretty good shout into the Metagross. Ah, they protect Metagross, okay. Um, that's annoying. Because I said, Max Hill wouldn't have made a difference there because I'm still dead to a T-Bolt next turn anyway. Um, once I go small, I'll get a bit of generous to protect. I could have also just killed the Alecky here, which would have been good. Yeah. I guess that was a little obvious because I've been playing around the Alecky all game, but. I mean, Alecky goes after Rotom here and kills it, right? Um, so I can do is just horsepower into the um, Metagross, get a chunk of damage off. Because they're going to steal something, my Mammoth Swine is the problem. So I think I want damage off on the Metagross now before it's. Weakened too much. Um, I don't protect on the Rotom, so I have to switch to Coco here. Um, I also kind of don't want to rain up with the Lecky on the field, um, so I think I'm content to just do this. Because Coco. Yeah, that's Max Master Gross. Hmm. I guess maybe I could have also just gotten rid of a Lecky this turn. So I could have gone horsepower into a Lecky and switch there. And that way I have the option to burn the Metagross and just stall out the late game. Yeah, there's T-Bolt. That's pretty obvious. Yeah, Coco takes that. Horsepower. Bonk. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I let the Alecky stay around for too long was the issue this game. And I'm just dead because I don't protect on Rotom. They can just they could just click T-Bolt Rotom and, and Quake into into um, Coco and I'm dead. Yeah. 
had the right idea that game, but yeah, I, I should have just. Um, I did a decent job of stalling out reflect and light screen stuff, but I should have just taken out the Aleki when I had the chance. Because the Aleki was the only thing that threatens Rotom. Because once Aleki goes down, then Rotom can deal with Metagross and just burn it, and I can't, and it won't get its policy off. Um, uh, I guess maybe I'll play it out just in case they do something wrong here, like overpredict or whatever. But the issue is I don't think I'd like. There's no way that, like Volt Switch crit even kills the um, the Metagross from here, and Gleam's not going to kill the Aleki. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> that also wins in the game. Um, I think even if I read that, there's nothing I can do about it. Because what the best I can do there is dazzle and gleam into the Reggie Alecky. Hmm. I could have maybe tried to go for a Tailwind route there. If I ever tell in route that game, maybe it wouldn't have been the worst idea in the world. But the issue is that would have led me, led, uh, left me very weak to a Spectria lead. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I think I positioned myself okay there. I just... Mm. I should have just gotten rid of the Aleki early game. Like, if I lose Mamoswine to get rid of Aleki... What I, yeah, because what I could have done in that last turn is I could have gone Horsepower into Aleki and Willow into the Metagross. And that way, if they protect a Leki and go after my Mama Swine, then their Metagross gets burned. And if they... Oh, I guess that doesn't really help me, though, does it? Because, like, a burned Metagross is still going to be doing a lot of damage. Too much, because it'll have Quake. Yeah, I think covering options maybe wouldn't have been the best idea, though. Uh, well, actually, I say that. I did have the... Um... I could have just gone Horsepower into a Leki and, and Geyser into Rotom on the... Sorry, Geyser into Metagross on the turn that I... Didn't do that. Evie Lin. Right, what you got? Hmm. This is like an instant lead, right? Kind of don't hate instant rotom on here. Eh. Uh, what a ring is this? Yeah, I kind of like instant Rotom, and then it gives me the Coco switch in. And I think Dragapult back end, or Mamoswine? Mmm. Rain is a weird matchup for me. Coco's really good to Rain, though. Hmm. I think Rotom's going to be on max this game, isn't it? I use all Mamoswine. Mamoswine does have my biggest doubt, because if Rotom's my max, then Dragapult's not really doing much in this matchup. Yeah, I think I kind of like Mamoswine here, honestly. Just for the damage output. Let's try this, see how it works. Hey. Hey. So the way the last few episodes of, this, of the Rack Report have gone, you guys are all going to think I'm rubbish at Pokemon. Okay, they just go Polytoed Kingdra. Um... I think what I can do here is bring in Coco and can I plot with Rotom? Because I feel like they might just want to take the easy K on Insin here. Um, yeah, Coco comes in. I'm just going to plot here, I think. Um, uh, might be a bit greedy. They withdraw Politoed into Indeedy. Okay, good switch. So they're trying to get around a fake out. Although I do just immediately get rid of that. Which is quite funny. Um, Inzo goes out. Coco comes in. It also gives me pressure with Dazzling Gleam. Which is nice. Um, I would guess if they're doing this. Then that means they're... Oh they just rip a muddy water. They miss Coco. That's fine. Um... No, it doesn't do anything. I actually dropped, but I'm maxing this thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and there's plot. Okay. Um, so I've got the obvious gleam here. Do I just go for it? I don't think I need to Electro up here. 
Because I'm not outspeed I'm not outspeeding Kingdra regardless, right? Because Rain's up. So I think I just go for the damage. Um and we're gonna for the geyser into Ndidi, because that's more like to kill it. I feel like this is probably followed here, is it? Ah, uh, I could be wrong. They could switch out Ndidi, but if, if they switch out Ndidi, I don't think anything wants to come in on this. Um. That is a very solid turn one. Mm -mm. They've drawn the Politoed again? Yeah, okay, I should have gone for the Max Lightning there then. Although, actually, no, I don't care about this, do I? I'm fine with leaving Politoed on the field, actually. Um, okay, they're not maxing their Kingdra, which means they're probably protecting their Kingdra, I would guess. Um, see, I'm, I'm completely fine with leaving, just leaving Politoed in play. Um, okay, Large Rotom. They should get muddy, okay. Actually dropping Coco now. Oh my god, three actually drops out of four. Okay, we double connect still, that's nice. Kingdra takes a chunk. Oh, this isn't gonna kill Politoed, is it? Um Let's see. No, I think that's good, honestly. Um So I think what I want to do now is Volt Switch off the Politoed, um, and just Lightning into the Kingdra. Um, is this Specs Kingdra? Wait, why are you maxing Kingdra now? They're trying to take out the Coco? Oh, that's fine, they lose Kingdra here, don't they? I don't think Kingdra lives plus two Lightning from this range. I'm also not entirely sure that Kingdra can KO either of Pokemon. Especially given there's not Life Orb. They guys us, so they're gonna hit Coco. I th honestly think I live this. Okay, I'm wrong. Never mind. Um <laughs> What do I know? Max Lightning off. Kabonk. Yeah, Kingdra's dead. That's fine. I'm completely happy to trade. To to trade that. And then Politoed's going to go for I guess Icy Wind could be a bit irritating, but... They just perish. Why? Um, I can't like Mammoth Swine for the immediate offensive pressure, honestly. Um, why did you perish on there? You're hitting DD. That's fine. I'm not hitting... I'm never hitting Politoed here. Um, I guess I could try and catch Ndidi protecting because there is absolutely no shot that um, Politoed I think is dead to all power here and there is no shot that Ndidi lives a plus two max geyser in rain so I think I just do this so if Ndidi protects then it's dead uh, sorry then it's it, then Politoed's dead and if Ndidi doesn't protect then Okay, Didi does protect, but that's fine. Okay, dead Politoed. I think. Mammoth so strong. This thing's so good. It's ridiculous. Um. A third, maybe? Yeah, that's a lot of damage on a Didi. Um. Right on Parish Count drops. Fine, whatever. Um, Hattering is the last, okay. Not ideal, granted. Um, I do have Incident in the back, though, which is kind of fine. Is Incident fine here? Okay. Sorry, my phone's vibrating. Um... I can't just kill a Didi here. Do I just try and rip a Hydro into Hatterene? I don't know if Horse kills here, though. I'm going to try doubling the hat. It probably gets redirected, but I think I'm content to go for it. I think they follow me trick from here, yeah.
Once that comes out. This is a dead indeedy. Why is Mama Swine so strong? Okay, that's crit, that's why. <laughs> I was gonna say Jesus. Um And then T ball. Connect, let's go. That's so much damage. Let's go Rotom. They do Trick Room, that's fine. How many times are left on Psychic Terrain? That is my question. Um no more rain. I do have to switch Rotom here, because otherwise his perish count's gone. Um that's fine because that resets the accuracy drops. Um how many turns left on Psychic? Three. Okay, that's fine. Um So what I can do is I can protect Mammoth Swine, switch into Insin. Uh and then next turn I have Uh actually what do I do next turn? So I think I have to raise an ice shard range here. So I think my safest play is just to play until I get an ice shard KO um KO on board. Actually no Insin just wins this, doesn't it? So I can just go for um Darkest Lara. Or Flavelets. Um Protect. There's E Force, yeah, okay, that, that's game then. Because now Instant just wins the game. I'm just flare blitz into hat. Um I guess it's uh, technically better to switch into Rotom here. Um just to save some damage on Mammoth Swine, because like I said, that gives me guaranteed ice shard. Um even if they like crit Rotom here or something. Um Okay, they play it on. But yeah, even if they crit Rotom and get the KO here, I'm just bringing Mammoth Swine Protect and then Ice Shard. Um, and I'm pretty sure Hatterene's in range for that. Um, they do a Gleam. That's a lot of damage from Rotom. But yeah, that's game. Because Instant's never dead to that. Nice. Okay, we get a win with the team. Bonk. Kind of weird choice to leave Raid into Coco Rotom. Well, I guess if it's not Assault vs. Coco, then um, it does fine into Raid. Um, Articuno is also pretty good into Raid for Tailwind support, um, but that's kind of dependent on them not having a Trick Room mode. So, <laughs> couldn't really bring it there. Um, yeah, that's the um, that's the end of this episode. Thank you everyone for tuning in. As always, if you have not done so already, please do drop a sub on the YouTube. Uh, and if you haven't followed my Twitch, please do that as well. Uh, all follows are appreciated. I'm normally live a few times a week. Um, so, you know, stop by there. Similar content, but a bit more interactive. Uh, you can come say hi. Um, yeah, but otherwise, that is, that is all for me, uh, for this episode, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.